Hi there. My name is Denise Demby. I'm an artist working in Denver, Colorado, getting ready for my show at 931 Gallery. I have been stuck on this sculpture for a while. I'm not exactly sure how to proceed with the rest of the piece. And today I want to kind of talk a little bit about my process and how I'm going to attempt to resolve this this weekend. So I'll be filling you in in steps as we go. Um, originally I created some beautiful glass that I thought would be gorgeous inside this space along with the walnut and the steel. When I created the glass I always had a problem of how am I going to attach it to this steel. You can't really fuse them together. Um, not this scale either. So I kind of debated putting um, holes into the glass and creating brackets and running bolts through them. But I ran into issues with if you tighten it just too much, you crack the glass. And with this, the scale of these pieces and the amount of glass, I felt like it would be better to use a strong clear adhesive on the brackets so that they were very stable, but the adhesive is flexible enough that it doesn't stress the glass. So I kind of ended up creating a bracket in here where I could actually attach the glass after the fact once I brought the piece to be installed. And I think that's probably a pretty good plan. Um, but now I'm running into how I attach more glass. And this piece ended up slumping in the kiln so that I lost a center section that slid off the side. I'm kind of one of those artists that lets process do its thing and then I'll adapt to it. So I think what I'm gonna attempt to do today is create something where I can attach a piece of steel in between and some uh, rod that I can attach to the base here. Ultimately, the goal will be that I have glass coming down the center of this piece and then light in the middle. Um, the light source right now is probably gonna be down on the bottom. Um, I kind of don't love the idea of seeing the LED and having it shine right in your face. So I'm going to be working that out too. But I think before I do, I'm going to resolve how I'm going to attach this other piece and what I'm going to make uh, to complete it. So um, tune in later and have a good day. Hi there, it's Denise Demby again. All right, so we're about four hours into some of the fabrication I've been doing today to try to figure this wonderful sculpture out. And at this point, I've fabricated a sort of tree-like thing that I'll be welding or probably attaching with a screw into part of the structure of the piece. This piece here will be supporting some of the glass and um, I'm not sure. It's a little bit of a organic opportunity to try to figure out where the glass will fit and how. So I like to test things a little bit before I actually commit to them. And I have to make these brackets, which I'm not still not that happy with this one on the one side. It's not going to kind of end up in the right place, so I got to figure that out. Um, but I think the placement of this is pretty good and it's going to probably do what I need it to do. I may add another piece here. That's probably what I'm going to do to get that third piece holding this in place. So lots of fun. Um, hopefully I'm going to start working with the light here and then be done. Good morning. Alrighty. So long day fabricating yesterday. This is about where we are right now with the way the glass will be hanging. And I've placed a little puck light in the center there that shines just enough light up, I think, to make it interesting, but not too bright. And I think the glass is pretty much positioned where I want it. I probably want to maybe bend this piece out a little 
it's kind of um, hard to tell spatially when you glue it up. And then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do to finish this piece. I think I'd like to add some glass at the bottom, hang it off of that stem so it's not so obvious. And um, then decide what I'm going to do to the steel. Right now it's in its raw state. It's hot rolled steel, so it's got a, a mill scale on it that I could paint over or I could soak off. I don't have a trough that big, so that would be a little bit of wrapping it and such. But debating whether I want to do kind of a blue color on the inside. I really like to finish the inside sometimes a certain way. I think the way the glass is on the inside of this piece is also kind of a metaphor. I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm kind of an introverted person, but you know, I think there's a lot that goes on inside. Um, it's private and beautiful. And if we let a little bit of it out, uh, people can see it and, um, you know, you can uh, interact in a more meaningful way, I think. So let's see, I guess we'll go to step two. Thank you.